How you guys doing? Welcome back to another episode. Maybe we do some pond hopping today, because that's all I ever do, because I don't have a boat, so hopefully we can't get a big one. It's been raining for a long, long time. And I'm actually in the area where a tornado touched down yesterday, so if that says anything of uh, how the fish is gonna be today, well, let's just pray that it's not too bad. Let's, let's just pray, but uh, Brian's coming out now. So first cast on this small little Yozuri, I caught this really nice sunfish. So we're happy with that. That's a good sign for this day. And we're looking forward to catching more. Brian's on, on the old crankbait. Is that a bluegill? That's a bluegill on a crankbait. Dude! <laughs> oh my God. Put that thing up to your hand. It's the size of my hand. Look at that thing. Dude, it's it can actually eat that. That's a giant. <laughs> oh, it's a sunfish. Is it? It's a big fish. Oh, it is. It's fatty. Derek would be proud. Derek would be proud. If you guys don't know who that is, that's. That's the deed. That's D Dude 2611, guys. The man, the myth, the legend. Panfish killer. I'll link him down below. You know that. And the fact that that thing ate it might be a good sign that as they're hungry in this pond, them and the bass. Already. I think that was a bass. I know there's some biggins in here. Just gotta find them. I know I could get destroyed with a jig in here. I know I could. Oh my God. Again? Dude, is that that Yozuri? Yeah. Crushing it, dude. They are crushing the Yozuri. They might be stacked right there. That might be the color though, because I'm throwing red. Spro hadn't had a single hit. That just means they're willing to eat. Let's throw the belly on there. That Look belly. at that. Look at that belly on that thing, dude. That thing is fat. And it is a female. It's a fat little female. There's one. It's a little guy. Thought there were giants in here, man. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Man, I'd rather take a fish than hell fish. Start off the day. Okay. I think I might have to get to my roots and start throwing a jig. I'm not gonna lie. I'm thinking that there's got to be at least one decent one in here amidst all these little dinks, maybe, hopefully. We've got other options here. we got other ponds to move around to, so. Ain't stressing it like that, but I'm trying to catch me a big one. Got out here kind of late. We don't have a whole lot of time to fish, so. I have to switch jig colors or something. Oh my God, bit right there, right at the shore. Probably back up off the shore then. She just nailed it right there. Finally, a bite on the jig. There we go. Oh, he came off. My drag slipped. I knew they had to bite it. He came off though. Because my drag slipping was not tight enough. 
because I'm an idiot. I'm an amateur. Remember that, guys. I suck at fishing. Look at that one that big. There's another one. Oh my goodness. They are loaded in this pocket, I think. I think they are loaded in this pocket. Oh my God. They are nailing this thing, dude. I mean, like they are nailing. Dude, they are they are nailing this jig, dude. Don't you dare come over here and cast. Cause I gotta run back, he just took my cloth. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh yeah, it's actually a really good one. There we go. Dude, he hit it on the fall. Get up here. Dude, I knew there was big fish in here, dude. Are you kidding me? That's a post spotter, first off. I knew if I threw the jig long enough, I was gonna get it big and I threw it out and my line just kept going. I'm like, it's not that deep there. I see it going to the left, and that's a fish. Boosh! Oh, yes! That's post spawn if I've ever seen it. Jig just popped out. Just popped out. Okay, well, as you just saw, look at that bass. Now that's post spawn. Look at how thin it is. Now imagine if it was spawning. I mean, this thing would be huge. It's already big. I'm, I'm guessing maybe three, three and a half. I'm gonna go throw them on the scale, but the mouth and the jig just popped out too. Yes. That's how we do it. Go Alright, we're gonna throw this guy on the scale. See what she weighs. I think it's a she. That's a she. You can see that that's 3.52. Not bad. Not bad. We're gonna get a couple pictures and we're gonna let her go. All right, we're gonna let this big girl go. About a three and a half pounder. I know there had to be some decent ones in here at least. I dipped her when I went over there to get the scale so she's not completely dried out. You ready? There you go. Get down there. Get down there. Yep. Figured out her swim bladder and she went back to the depths. That water has to be like 75, by the way. Oh, right there. Yeah. Okay, so the setup I was using, 7.5 Worm and Jig Rods, it's a G Loomis E6X. This is a medium, heavy, fast action. I've got a Shimano Chronic MGL 7 one to one gear ratio. I've got 16 pound FC Sniper on here, I believe. That's a little Kai Check Model 1 jig. I think I said Kai Check. It's a Kai Tech, sorry. And then I've got a Guggen Baits Crack and Craw on the back, a little watermelon red flake. So that's what I got that fish on. That's what I'm gonna continue to throw for the rest of the day now, so. <laughs> Stay tuned and we'll see if we can't get another one. Maybe Brown will get a huge one on that crankbait. Another good one. Another giant. Another giant. Oh my god. Well, it's not a giant, but it's good. It's good, dude. Up here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, it's not as big as the last one, but it's like a two, two and a half. <sighs> dude, this is why my buddy Dave from the cast crew, dude, he, he put me on premium Japanese jigs, he told me, and even some American made jigs, but he told me the good jigs from the bad jigs. The ones I've been fishing, the Strike King Bitsy Bugs, they're good. That's a male, he's pissing. They're good, but they're not the best. These Kitex or them Dem Jigs, which I will link both down in the description. Very, very, very good. Um, and this Guggen Baits Crack and Craw. Not gonna lie, that's pretty damn good too. And look at how he ate it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay, so fish number two came literally two casts after that last one. Not a bad one, it's about a two pounder. 
Uh, maybe two and a half. Quality fish. Now we're catching some quality fish. So uh, we're going to get some more. Get a couple I might pictures. have to switch to a jig now. Yeah, Brian might have to switch to a jig now because uh, they're getting the big fish. So stay tuned. Can he pull a third one off of that same weed patch? Ladies and gentlemen, we will find out. Yeah, they're stacked. This has got some depth to it. That's why they're here. Nice. Bet you'll pull another one right off of there too. Yep, yep. what'd I tell you? That's not bad. That's not a bad one. Yeah, don't let him shake that, matter of fact. Keep him, keep his head low. It's a nice one. Hold your reel and flip him. He, he ain't coming off. He ain't coming off. There you go. So I was sewing that little fourth of an ounce Yozuri off of a um, little weed pad. And within about 10 seconds, I had this one on. And I called man, it too, didn't I? Yeah, you did call it. You I absolutely said, called it. Right and this one is definitely another post-spawn bass. You can tell just by how it's looking with how its scales are. And man, around the two pound range for That's sure. Two, at least two. Mm -hmm. We haven't even had to hop yet, so. Exactly. <laughs> I've already gone through like three quarters of a pack and it's like so I'm throwing basically what I'm trying to say is I'm throwing a cracking craw with one claw out there right now but they like the bait they like the scent they like the taste they like the feel Guggen Squad seriously make your stuff last longer come on make your stuff you're making good baits but make them last longer I, I mean for God's sake Strike Kings last longer than your stuff so you know figure that Another one. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Another good one, dude. Oh my goodness. This pond is loaded with fatties. That's, she's just spawning. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Right in the roof of the mouth where you want it. That's like a two and a half, three. All right, well, that's another, look at the hunchback on this thing too. That is another really good fish. That's like a three. I'm calling three. Jig right in the top of the mouth. She took my pincher and uh, I just said screw it and I kept this one on. This crack and crush, I should say. So I threw one with one pincher and they still bit it. I was just literally in the middle of saying why the Guggen Squad should make their stuff last a bit longer. But uh, guys, they work. I'm not gonna lie, they really do work. And you can see that tail still bloody, so she's still on a bed. Yep, it's so. I'm pretty sure she was on a bed because she bit right there twice. So I'm going to see if I can't put her back right on her bed and uh, not bamboozle this fish as to where she is. There she goes. Ding. I can't say that. That's someone else. Reedy grass stuff that. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, no, no. I missed him. I missed him. That must have been a small one. He, I mean, he hammered it. I gotta, I'm getting too excited here. I'm missing fish. There we go. Oh, that's a little guy. And he just took me straight in there and I'm stuck now. He was swimming with it. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. I hope I got that on camera. I hope I got that on camera. Did you see that? I was swimming it in. It was damn near out of the water and he just comes up and freaking, holy crap. These guys are fat. These guys are really fat. Come on bass, cause they're lighting this thing up. I can tell the difference between a between a little bite and a big bite. Like this, these are little bites. These are little bass and, and big sunfish or whatever Brian calls it. But occasionally you will, like that, he's running with it. He's running with it. You're on, doubled? Doubled up, baby. Brian just caught one, that's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. I mean, it's not huge, but it's not bad. That's what's been down there biting the hell out of my stuff. Let's see. Mwah. 
guys we done caught so many fish today i just kept the camera off a lot of them were dinks though that's also why i kept the camera off but uh I had okay well we done we messed them up yeah. something fierce sure. a lot of them were really good so i'm happy with that yeah it was, it was uh it was a good it was not hard to figure them out let's just say that he was throwing a crankbait and getting bit i was throwing a jake and getting bit so yeah. we're gonna go and get some food because my stomach is about to commit yeah suicide so stay tuned everybody um Heroes, 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 heroes. Okay, so, wait. What that was, was a whole pack of, uh, of crack and cross. Look at that thing there. So that was a whole pack of crack and cross by Guggen Baits. These baits are good. They're really good. People at the Guggen Squad HQ, Make them last longer. Just make them last a little bit longer. One second, I forgot something. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Yeah, but I mean, oh, I'm gonna stop talking about them um, just cause I don't wanna bash them. I mean, it seem like I'm continuously bashing them. Let's move on to what I was catching them on today. Guys, it's a 7101 reel. It's a Shimano Cronark MGL. And I've got a 7.5 medium heavy worm and jig rod and G Loomis E6X. 16 pound FC sniper, I believe it was. A jig, it's a Kitec jig. This is their model one, three eighths of an ounce, I believe, jig. Um, and then I've got that little Guggenbaits crack and craw and a little watermelon red flake on the back. Give me the feedback down in the comments just to let me know what you guys like, what you don't like, what I can approve on and what I'm doing right. <laughs> Like I said before, um, all this gear will be linked down in the description below, so don't forget to check that out if you are curious on what I throw. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Southside Facing. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See you later.